How's it going, guys? Difficult question for biochemistry for step one. Before you started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give me a like. Really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, melman underscore medical, and the HL man underscore medical. Links down below for me Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel down below. Now start the clip. 59 year old woman. She has diabetic glomerulosclerosis. This is past level to start. I was intentionally vague here by not even telling you it's a renal biopsy, but you should know that, yes, this is uh, glomerulus. Okay. And then we obviously have the hyaline chymal steel Wilson nodules. So this is past level. You look at this, you say, okay, obviously this is diabetic glomerular sclerosis, but we have fancy, more difficult biochemistry answer choices here. All right. But you need to know that the first change in the kidney with diabetes is called hyperfiltration, where you have more glucose passing through Bowman capsule. It's going to be pulling water with it. So we actually have increased glomerular filtration rate initially in diabetes. That's an answer on one of the NBME questions. We also get non-enzymatic glycosylation of the glomerular basin membrane, causing thickening of the glomerular basin membrane, ultimately losing the size and charge barrier. So we get nephrotic syndrome and of course the hyaline chymal still will synodules. So let's just whip the dance choice here. So glucokinase is the, the first enzyme in glycolysis in the liver. So we have hexokinase ubiquitously converts glucose into glucose 6-phosphate, but in the liver, we have glucokinase. Now it's non-numerical step one anymore. We don't have to worry about all this garbage about how OMG glucokinase compared to hexokinase, increased KM, less affinity for glucose, higher Vmax, greater saturation capacity for glucose. So a lot we can talk about, but the point is you have glucokinase that's upregulated by insulin, hexokinase is not. So in diabetes, we don't know whether it's type 1 or type 2, it doesn't matter, because if it's type 1 where we have decreased insulin or it's type 2 where you have insulin resistance, in both cases, the effects of insulin are going to be reduced in comparison to a non-diabetic patient. So if glucokinase is upregulated by insulin and the effects of insulin are reduced, we know we're going to have decreased glucokinase activity. Okay, So we're only looking at down arrows here for glucokinase. So the second enzyme here carboxylase is the difficult one. Don't confuse that with pyruvate dehydrogenase. Pyruvate dehydrogenase is going to convert pyruvate last product of glycolysis in acetyl-CoA for the TCA cycle. Pyruvate carboxylase, in contrast, is actually a gluconeogenic enzyme. A lot of fancy stuff, a lot of garbage, okay? But ultimately, what's going to occur? Pyruvate's going to convert Pyruvate carboxylase will convert pyruvate into acetate, which will ultimately make its way back up to glucose. Okay, it's a gluconeogenic enzyme. And you say, well, if the effects of insulin are reduced and insulin normally builds up, insulin is normally going to uh, increase TCA cycle activity, would decrease gluconeogenesis. Well, the effects of insulin are reduced. We know that pyruvate carboxylase activity will be increased. Okay, we're going to have increased gluconeogenesis if insulin's not there to do its job. So we're going to have uh, an up arrow for pyruvate carboxylase. Now we look at GLUT4 expression. Now we know GLUT4 expression is going to be reduced because the effects of insulin are reduced. So GLUT4 is normally going to increase glucose movement from the blood into the adipo adipocyte and skeletal muscle under the effects of insulin. So we clearly can't do that here. So we're going to have decreased glucokinase activity. We're going to have increased pyruvate carboxylase activity, decreased GLUT4 expression. So your short point of consolidation is glucokinase, the first enzyme of glycolysis in the liver. It's upregulated by insulin and its activity is going to be reduced in diabetes. Pyruvate carboxylase, it's a gluconeogenic enzyme. If the effects of insulin are low, then we're going to have increased gluconeogenesis. So this enzyme's high. And if the effects of insulin are low, obviously GLUT4 expression is low. So our answer is down, up, down in this case. You know the deal. Make sure you make more content if you like my stuff. Subscribe my channel. Appreciate your time. That's it.